Welcome to the standing Pilates class focusing on lower body exercises for strength, the balance, and we're going to include some stretches as well. Phase one won't require any additional equipment and as an option for phase two, grab a stable yoga block. If you're ready to get started, join me on the mat. Let's go ahead and begin with their legs and feet parallel to one another. Lift your toes up and spread them nice and wide. Then place your toes back down onto the floor. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale to straight. So this first movement is about awareness. There's a pretty small range of motion, keeping heels down and grounded. Spine, just natural curves. Two more times here. Now staying just as stable, lift the heels up and lower down slow. Lift up, lower down slow. Now if balance is challenging for you here, I want one of your hands against the wall for support or even use a dowel for extra support. You can refer to this more supported variation for any exercise that we're moving with today. Two more times. Very nice. And now lift one leg up, leg goes down, same side. And one last time, switch sides, lift up and down. Lift up, pause and down. Very nice, now go back to your first side, lift leg up, reach the leg behind you, bend the front knee and up. So it's a very small lunge. The goal is to keep the lower spine really still so movement, focus on lower body. And then we'll hold thigh up once again, and now step forward and up. So do take a step forward. We're playing with weight on one leg and then shifting it forward to second leg. Balance and shift and still spine staying nice and still. Hold for that balance. Foot goes down, switch sides. Lift, take it behind. So the front leg will bend just a little bit. Lower back stays really still and trying to stay as stable as possible as you're doing this motion. We'll keep the leg up this next time, find that balance. And now your weight goes forward and return. Be really intentional with the transfer of weight. Let's do two more times, two and one. Very nice, both feet underneath you. One leg is going to slide back to a long lunge position now. Front leg bent and align from your ears towards your back heel. Feel that length and reach. And next time you breathe out, front leg goes straighter and then bend through the leg. Front leg goes straighter and bend. Take your time here. Feel the full foot down on the floor, pressing just a little bit more into the ball of the foot, just a touch more. Two more times. Now we'll bend the back knee. Bring your spine back to vertical. Arms come in front of you parallel to floor. We lower down and up. So a more traditional lunge, keeping the emphasis focused on lower body. Nice steady pace here. We're almost there. Two, last one. Very nice back leg steps forward and switch sides. So start with the long lunge, set yourself up for success. Feel the reach of the back leg, length through the spine, sink your way into the front thigh. And when you're ready, front leg goes straighter and bend. 
really trying to sense full foot pressing down of the front leg, reaching with back heel, deep breathing. So strong, engaged back leg. Two more times. Keep front thigh bent, bend the back knee, come vertical with spine, arms in front of you, lower and up. Taking your time here, still sinking movement and deep breath. One last time. Very nice, bring your legs together. We'll go to a wider position now, feet parallel. And inhale, pivot your spine and pelvis forward. Exhale, come right back up. I want you to think about squeezing the floor together and up towards your abs. So this pivoting motion, the focus is a little bit more on inner thigh engagement. Let's do two more times. And one last time. Very nice. Bring your feet in towards one another. Soft bend with the knees and let your pelvis shift one side to the other. We'll do a variation of this in our phase two coming up. If you're not gonna use the yoga block, you can refer back to this more hula-like motion with the pelvis compared to the yoga block option. Very nice. Pelvis square, straighten the legs. If you're using a yoga block, you're going to take it behind the heels. So we're going to be in the Pilates V position, heels elevated by the block. If you're not using the yoga block, then of course your heels can be elevated without it. Cross your arms in front of you unless you're using support and bend the knees. Exhale, come up. Inhale, bend. Exhale, up. So we have a nice smooth motion down, smooth motion up. Let's do two more times here, two. Very nice. Now we're going to reset, take your feet to parallel. They can be open parallel or more narrow, supported by the block or not, arms crossed. Bend the knees and up. Breathing in and out. So the block option provides a little bit more support. So maybe you can focus more on that deep range of motion down and then back up again. Another time. Very nice, step away. We're going to take the block so that one foot is going to be on it. One foot on the block, opposite toes graze down or foot flexed. We do our glide with the pelvis down and up, down and up. Remember, if you don't have a block, go into that hula motion that we did earlier. Two and one. Keep pelvis level, open leg, close. Control. So maintaining balance as leg open to close. One last time. Very nice switch sides. So getting comfortable, toes stay down or foot flexes, glide the pelvis. Allow yourself to breathe deeply here. A few more times through. 
Now keep the pelvis level, open the thigh and close, trying to stay as balanced as possible as thigh opens and closes. Let's do two more, two, and one. Very nice, come off the block. Going to take the first foot back on top of it. If you're using your yoga block, it's staying nice and stable, no wobbles. Reach the opposite leg back to that long lunge position. And front leg goes straighter and bend. Breathing out and in. So stable block, stable leg. Notice, does the movement feel a little bit different if you're using the block? Two, last one. Bend the back knee, vertical spine, arms in front of you. Again, lower and up. More traditional lunge. Range of motion may feel a little bit different if the front foot is elevated. We have three. And one last time. Very nice. Bring yourself in and switch sides. So opposite foot on top. We step back to that long lunge, feeling very secure whenever you're ready. Front leg straighter and bend. Deeper breathing as maybe the muscles are starting to experience more work now. One last time here. Bend back leg, vertical spine, arms in front, lower and up. We are almost there. Two, last one, very nice. Bring yourself up. So option, no block once again, or both feet on top of it. So we're going into our heel lifts. For on top of the block, the heels may be able to go a little bit lower than the block and then lift up. Reconnect to deep breathing. Maybe a little bit trickier if you're doing block option, but trying to stay just as stable. Two more times, two and one. Very nice, step off the block can go off to the side. Let one foot stay in front of you, opposite leg goes back. Pivot the hips, straight front leg, bent back. Give yourself a little calf stretch. Pulling toes towards the knees or towards the knee. Take another deep breath here. Very nice, step forward, switch sides. So sitting back, bend back leg, really flex foot, the leg, we're stretching, toes up towards the knee, deep, spacious breath here, another deep breath, very nice, hands on the block, both knees can bend, try to find natural curves with spine, and then take your legs to straighter. So that may mean all the way straight. It may mean keeping the knees a little bit bent. Feel in to what sensation you're experiencing in the back of the legs. If you need more of a stretch, take the yoga block down or hands on floor. But natural curves of spine, so we're really trying not to round into ourselves right now. More natural curves of spine. Deep breathing, stretching is as important as the strengthening work. Another breath, very nice. Take one foot next to the block, opposite leg reaches back. 
So long position, hand can be on the block again, really having natural curves with spine, strong back leg, inhale, exhale, can we maybe sink down a little bit lower? You can play around with the back knee going down. That just helps you feel into a different sensation that feels nice. The knee can stay down or leg more lifted. So you're finding the option that your body appreciates right now. Another deep breath here. Very nice and switch out your sides. So I would suggest starting in that long lunge. Get the length. And we can maintain back leg straight or how might it feel to take the knee just gently down. Sometimes that helps get into the hip, stretch a little bit more. So if that's what you're, you're after, knee down may be a nice option. Regardless, allow yourself to breathe deeply into the body. Very nice. And bring yourself back up. Let's get the front of the legs in the standing quadricep stretch. So feel nice and stable. One heel back behind you. And the knee's gonna wanna pull forward for most of us. Pull your thigh further back. Staying nice and still with the rest of the body. Thinking about thigh, trying to reach further back. Take another deep, spacious breath here. And then switch out your sides. Stable on supporting leg. Nice stretch for opposite. Remember, the thigh likes to squeak forward to release the stretch. Our body finds the path of least resistance. So we really have to stay focused on maintaining the stretch. Gently pulling thigh back. Deep breathing. Another deep breath here. Release. An amazing work on that class, focusing on lower body, both for balance, strengthening exercises, and of course, we incorporated a few stretches as well. If you enjoyed this class, give it a thumbs up and make sure to check out the Trifecta Pilates app. We have an extended version of a lower body workout focusing on many of the exercises that we just did. We just also get to incorporate work down on the mat for a complete lower body workout Pilates style. Between that and the hundreds of other membership exclusive classes, it's a really valuable way to enhance your at-home Pilates practice. I hope that you have a beautiful day and can join me on the mat soon for another class here on YouTube or within the membership and app.